Hello everyone, this is Fine from Awesome Tech Gaming Pro. I hope you all are well. Intel breaks 8 GHz frequency after more than a decade with LN2 overclocked Reactor Lake Core i9-3900K CPU. The flagship is going to bring the blue team back into the 8 GHz frequency league after more than a decade. The only Intel chips that show up in the 8 GHz plus list at HWBOT are the old Celeron and Pentium 4 parts dating back to the early 2000s. However, Intel is going to change this month with its 13th generation Raptor Lake CPUs. Currently, the highest frequency record is still belongs to AMD's FX 8370 which sits at an insane 8.72 GHz. Intel's Celeron D352 takes up the fifth spot with an overclocked frequency of 8.61 GHz. So far, there have been no modern core or Ryzen CPUs that have managed to break past the 8 GHz clock barrier. The Intel Core i9-10900K was the last modern chip to achieve a high clock rating of 7.7 .7 GHz a few years back. Overclockers are now gearing up to once again the uh, achieved overclocks beyond 8 GHz with the Raptor Lake chips such as the Core i9-13900K. The Intel Core i9-13900K is the flagship Raptor Lake CPU featuring 24 cores and 32 threads in an 8P core and 16E core configuration. The CPU is configured at a base clock of 3.0 GHz and a single core boost clock of 5.8 GHz, 1 to 2 cores. And an all boost core clock is 5.5 GHz, all 8P cores, I will say. The CPU features 68 MB of combined cache and 125W PL1 rating that goes up to 253W. The CPU can also consume up to 350W of power when using the extreme performance mode. I managed to secure an overclock result of the Intel Core i9-13900K Raptor Lake CPU from an overclocker who is currently testing the chip on an unreleased Z790 motherboard. I can't say the name or model of the manufacturer or brand that the board is from but it is going to be a real high and end variant. The overclocker stated that he was easily able to push the 39900K Raptor lock up to 8 GHz using LN2 cooling and with a voltage of 1.792 volt. The overclocker also mentioned that 8 GHz is a baseline for 39900K overclocks and that I will see much higher clock speeds once the lineup goes official. The overclock was applied across 8 P cores with SMT disabled, so one core results could end up even higher. Overall, it looks like the Raptor Lake CPU platform will be a huge deal for overclockers and enthusiasts, and I can't wait to see even more extreme results in the coming months. So that's it from now. If you like this video, please subscribe and press the bell icon for future notifications update. Thanks for watching. Change up.